Hey guys, my name is Fazetti. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a couple of things on the agenda for today's episode, but first, let's just have a bit of a look at the armor stands because something weird has been happening with them. Uh, and also, I've got floating hay bales. I'm not sure what is going on there. I've got a netherite block that's floating. I've got pumpkins and carrots floating. And the guys are out here and it seems they've got changed into a little green uniform. And even a bed and a, and a crafting bench are floating. It's getting a bit dark. But I don't know what's going on. It's like the things are being pulled up out of the ground by like a magnetic force or something. And these guys are pointing up. Now, I did manage to, if I zoomed in, I thought I saw something up there. I can't see at the moment because of the clouds. But uh, there, look, there's something there. There is something way, way up in the sky, and these guys are going to pointing at it. Like, if I could hit the right button, where's it gone? Over there. So, that's, that's a little bit strange. And I think for some reason they put some doors over there. I don't know what that's got to do with it. And, yeah, it's just a bit weird. I don't, even this two blocks have gone up. I think I was using that to jump over the fence maybe i don't know but yeah something um something weird is going on they uh, some over here look there wasn't don't even think there was a pumpkin down there i don't i don't know what is going on um it's a bit strange but i don't know i guess uh like there's stars can i see the whatever it is from here i don't think i can yeah a bit strange, but I guess we'll find out what's going on. I might just sort of leave them alone a little bit. Okay, so talking about the uh, agenda for today, we are going for gold. So we, uh, a few people were talking on the server about, you know, mending your gear and it takes so long and the best thing we've got is a zombie farm. So I thought we might make a gold farm that gives us some XP. And the best place to build a gold farm is on top of the nether and here we are on top of the nether and I managed to, after much difficulty, put a hole in the bottom of it so we can walk in and out. And the best place for this farm is in a ruins biome. So if I switch that on, no, that doesn't have it. Let's do it the old fashioned way. So we are in a crimson forest. Now, there is a ruined biome or ruins biome in this direction i put down some lights so hopefully it might be just past these mushrooms here we go all right so when we're here we can see that the nether waste that's what it is so this is the area we want to build it in so it's not too far from my little hole in the ground and the ingredients we need are some turtle eggs. So I've got a little turtle sanctuary going on here and we've got quite a few turtle eggs. Let's uh, sneak on in here and just uh, help ourselves to them. So I was like, oh yeah, sorry, I'm stealing your children. You got enough of yous in there anyway. Let me have these last two. Well, it'll teach you. All right, so yeah, I've got the eggs. The other thing we need is magma blocks. So I collected all these earlier, but I'm starting to think I might need some more. It might be enough. I don't know. We'll see how we go. So that is first thing on the agenda. There's going to be some free ink over there. The other thing we're going to do in this episode is finish the, the storage area. So sort out what we're going to put in each column. Did we get our free ink? have a look to get away no, we missed out yeah so we're going to uh, fix up the storage or you know get it all working we're gonna get some here as well they're not too bright these things you can probably tell by the look and I just want to check cause I put hoppers down here 
Let's go to the egg in there. What's in this one? Nothing. And I was hoping I'd get the little shoots when they um, when they grew up, but that didn't work. Anyway, let's go and build the gold farm. So several hours later, we have got our spawning platform and I was getting attacked by ghast. So as I built the spawning platform, I built the um, the little ghast proof roof we've got here. I'm quite sure how this guy got up here. I think maybe he can spawn on that one. I think anyway. Um, so I've put this here because these guys, I don't really want these guys in here when I'm you know, trying to put an iron golem and a, a turtle egg. So I've put a little barrier around them. I think if I fly far enough away, we will, um, these guys will despawn eventually. And down there, yeah, we've got chests, everything. I'm going to link to a tutorial. I might not link to the tutorial I'm following because A, the guy doesn't talk in it. And B, he assumes you're building it in peaceful. So he doesn't, tell you how to deal with all these guys etc so I'll put that in the description uh, this has been done a thousand times so it's not anything new so okay next I am going to start to set up my iron golem and put the turtle egg so let me just sort of it's interesting the way this works so I build the iron golem so like he's property of me and any damage he does, I get the blame for. So, Iron Golem and then a Turtle Egg on top. These guys want to get to the Turtle Egg. They race over to here to get to the Turtle Egg. And when they come across here, the Iron Golem can just reach them enough to hit them. And then, so they blame that damage on me. And then when they fall down, I get the XP. So, it's quite cool. It is very, very clever. And something else that... I was half aware of but wasn't really top of mind is the boots I'm wearing have got uh, well they got Frostwalker 2 on them so I can quite happily walk on these blocks without taking damage so that's pretty clever as well anyway I'm going to race off and finish this area here and it shouldn't take too long but I'm gonna announce something today's my birthday yay yay uh, I'm no longer a young boy of 87. I've turned 88. So 88, all the eights today. Very excited about that. I'm going to be 90 before I know it. So happy birthday to me. Okay, so I put the turtle egg down and now everyone is interested. Well, already the, um, the baby zombies have um, snuck through the defenses and copped a walloping from the iron golem so that's good let's um i think i'm meant to take that away as well there we go so i think we are just about in the home stretch let's just clean up a little bit and then we might release the hounds so my afk spot is all set that's here sort of surrounded in glass everywhere I guess that stops the little ones getting through that survive. Hopefully none of them sub sub Hopefully they all subscribe. Make sure you've subscribed, but hopefully none of them survive. Let's go up here because I think now it's time to release the hounds. I don't think they're angry with me. But that might change. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, these little guys can get through. All right, I'm going to remove all this and then we're going downstairs to see. I'm looking so forward to repairing my pickaxes. Um, yeah, so let's go see what happens once all this is set up properly. Okay, so we're in here. We have a lot of pigment dropping down. And the XP is getting through to me. This is good. Look at this. I'm almost halfway through. And we're also getting some gold. All right. So this is mission accomplished. I think everyone on the server is going to be happy about this. 
they're still dropping down but as you can see these golden swords are going to be a nuisance so I'm going to put in a filtering system to I think we'll just throw them on the ground for the time being we might look at um at smelting them into gold gonna get rid of that as well don't need them this is just falling in as part of my building process I think we'll just keep the gold nuggets and convert them into gold ingots and what I've done I've added a bit of redstone out the side here we are throwing out the gold swords and I'll probably push them into lava because all these items lying around will probably cause a bit of lag so we don't really want that so they will eventually go into lava and in these chests here this is where all the goodies are going so I've only just put these bottom chests here so as you can see they're filling up this is the side that I did most recently so he doesn't have a lot in there I think we're going to have to filter out the rotten flesh and maybe put them in the lava as well but that can be a bit of a stage too so for the time being it's all looking all looking good and to celebrate I brought myself a birthday cake there you go no one else got me one but I've got a birthday cake for myself so this is all good I'm going to let the other guys on the server know that this is available they can come up here and sneak in here shut the door behind them they'll be nice and safe and get all their XP so back onto the sorting project I've managed to put most of a roof in it looks okay from this side but over here it's uh, still a little bit a little bit missing I haven't worked out what I'm going to do in this area here but it's time to start planning out the where everything's going to go so I've been working on a bit of a spreadsheet and this is sort of what we're going to have we're going to have colored wool colored wool and white walls because the corner ones are a little bit of a problem trying to indicate and I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to have multiple sort of things in a column we might just try and keep it to one indicator and I'll probably get to know it as I go along so I've taken out most of it although I've just realized I forgot the stick I filled this up with um, filler ups but I don't think it's going to be enough and I've moved out everything that I had during testing so I'm going to go now and just quickly or probably not so quickly put in what I've got planned for what I can because there are things like guardian farms I don't have any of that yet so let me nick off and just get that sorted I've been adding a few um, categories to each of the things I've lost my um, little frame there and everything was going fine until I started putting these three down and then things started going bad and I couldn't really work out why also I'm not sure these are going to stay there I don't really like them on the ground I think they're going to be better maybe at this height and then maybe you can have two but yeah they're probably going to disappear from the ground yeah it's nice you can put them item frames on the ground now but they're going on the side but anyway this was a problem and let me show you just quickly in case you're doing this uh, this is the stack underneath and it wasn't returning having come down let's go back up again it wasn't returning the item back into the filter area so you can see the piece of granite would normally be living there and it is being kicked out let me grab that 27 granite we'll go down here and we'll just fix up this little item thing this is marking where the where the problem is so I'll take him out I'm up and down up and down <laughs> take him out put the one back in and when we put him in we will hear the um, the piston extend there it goes now I am going to put these other 27 granite in the cart it's filling up we're going to run off the edge here so we can catch it doing stuff the cart is running along around the outside here it's going to come up to this area here and unload and when it unloads it's going to then very slowly come along here now what has to happen is these powered rails here need to power to trigger the observer so this thing gets brought back up to the top and I didn't see any of them go <laughs> but the problem I'm having is 
it's not powering these rails all the way down the end here. Over here it is because I've put a brake in it. I don't know why I didn't put the brake. See, there's a brake there and it will power the rails back and same here. So I don't know why I didn't do it on this side. So I'm going to put a little brake in and that should get things back to normal. So we can see here that he hasn't gone back again, but the, the granite's gone in the chest, but I think it just gets progressively worse and worse and you end up, it's just a mess. Stopped working and was driving me a bit crazy. So I'm gonna put that brake in, hopefully that'll fix it up. I'm gonna move the item frames up and finish putting in all my categories. So I fixed the rail problem down below and everything is working fine. And as you can also see, I've moved the item frames up off the ground. Uh, everyone at the moment has got one except for one over here. I've sort of got, so I'm gonna put coral in that one as well. Let's have a bit of a look around. At the back here, I've put a whole stack of chests and this is really where I'm just gonna be putting things that don't stack to 64 and will probably mess up the whole sorting system. So out the back, but I still will probably try and automate this. I'm pretty sure I can detect objects that don't stack to 64 and just um, chuck them out here somewhere. And if we have a look in these chests here, you can see it's sorting everything quite well. And, and we've got selectors in here and there's 48. So these add up to 55. So 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's how it all works. It's, it's working well. So even over here, we've got all sorts of things in, in this one. Based on all that, the wool over here, we're yeah, selecting all different color wools. As I get more, I'll just add them to it. So yeah, this is working really, really well. So it took a lot of time. So, and also the floor probably needs to be done a bit more, but anyway, and a hole in the wall. It, it took some time. If you're gonna build this, you, know, you have to be prepared to um, invest a bit of time. But once it's done, you, know, you just throw everything in here and off it goes. I've cut this block out so I can see when when he's there. For some reason, these stone blocks got returned earlier. Let me just chuck them back in there. He'll fill up and the cart will go on its way. So this is this is pretty cool. And also the gold farm is a, is a bit of a hit. There's a few people on the server who've used it already and they're saying that they're you know, enjoying repairing all their gear in under a minute rather than the 20 minutes that it used to take them. But so that, that's pretty cool and I'm getting some gold out of it, which you know, I'm storing over in, in here. But that will do me for this episode, I think. We had uh, a bit of success, so that's all good. And I just want to say uh, a big thumbs up to every one of my subscribers. We just hit the 800 mark. I'm so, so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button for me. We're on the way to hitting 1,000. We're in the home stretch. Let's try and get there. Definitely before Christmas, but I'm hoping mid-October. So let's see if we can get to the 1,000 mark. So, and if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It is important. It tells YouTube what to tell other people. So it helps with the recommendations. So hit the like button, subscribe, and that will help me out a great deal. But that will do me. I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.